Um, I think we look lethargic, um, reactive a little bit. Um, yeah, um, I didn't think our quality was good enough. Um, when we won the ball back, we had moments where we could play our way out of a bit of trouble and we'd give the ball away and, and we'd, they'd be back on us a little bit. Um, yeah, I think it was a it was a tough night for us. You know, I think uh, our motto is always you know stay in the game, and I felt at one nil we were staying in the game. Um, but you know, the second goal was a killer um, from pretty much nothing to you know. I think uh, it'll be good for us to look at. But I said to the players after the game, you know, tonight would have been a real bonus to get three points in. But the harsh reality is the next three games are the most important um, with who we're playing. So. Uh, we've got to dust ourselves off real quick and get ready to get on a plane again to go to Houston. So, uh, Building on what you said of um, still being in the game, uh, you brought on Montessori and Matska. Was there a real attempt to go a little bit more direct at that point to try and cover with it, given Montessori's running and Bronco? I wouldn't say direct. I think we were trying to get a threat against their line a bit more with Coco. Um, you know, we lost Jordan last minute to an illness. Um, and, you know, G's a very different player than Jordan. Um, and I felt like having a bit more of a threat against the bat line um, would have helped us. And I thought Coco did a decent job of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, tough night. Um, they're a good team. You know, I think uh, it was hard, it's hard for us when we don't have a lot of the ball. We find that challenging. Um, and when we had the ball tonight, there were just moments where we didn't show enough quality to keep it. So, um, yeah. Coach, can you explain a little bit how you have to prepare when you face a club that's going to bring on NWSL's all-time leading scorer, Lynn Williams, in the second half, and mm -hmm. probably one of the best players in the last 20 years, Chris Dunn for like the last 15. Mm -hmm. does, that, does that affect like your substitution pattern or kind of what you tell the players going into the match? Not really, I'm just jealous. Hey Laura, just um, some of your initial thoughts on what you saw from Hannah Glass in her play debut. I thought she did well. Um, you know, she's up against tough opponent. You know, uh, Ella's had a fantastic season, and then you take Ella off and you bring on Lynn Williams, who speaks for herself. And you know, I, I felt we honestly kept them quiet on the left hand side of the field for the majority of the game. I think. Rose was the only one really who ever caused us a problem on the left when she was there. Um, so yeah, I thought Hannah did great. And then I know Shay was honored at halftime for the uh, Lord Holiday Award nominee, but she's been, uh, playing what she's been a rock for you guys all year. What have you liked from Shay this season? And what she's brought as a player, but also I guess in the locker room. Yeah, I think she's, you know, first and foremost, she's a fantastic human being. Um, she brings, She's got a fantastic personality. She cares deeply about a lot of things. And the biggest target Shay had when we signed her and we drafted her was to stay healthy in year one, which she did. And her year two target was to play more minutes, which she's doing. So she's on track for the, all the targets and goals that we've set her. Uh, she's probably playing more minutes than we probably thought that she would, but she's, uh, she's taking it all in her stride and um, yeah, I think she's doing a good job. Uh, you're only getting Lou back tonight into the starting lineup. Uh, even, even without a full 98, what was it like to be able to bring her on and partner with you? Yeah, you know, I think Lou is a staple of this club, always has been. Um, you know, she brings something that's a little bit different than any of our other defenders where, you know, she's a great defender, but she's fantastic on the ball um, and can add, add, add us with a little bit of quality. and. You know, I think Jules and Phoebes have been doing great together, uh, but to get Lou and get Lou a big amount of minutes tonight was a uh, was a big positive setting us up for the rest of the season. Great, thanks, everyone. Thanks. For